G'day guys, this is Booze Review, the show where we review the booze. Got another 4X beer review today, 4X Bitter. Coming in at 4.4% ABV in a nice 375ml bottle. This was first introduced in 1924, and the, um, the recipes remain the exact same since then apparently, according to the website anyway. So yeah, this is one of the couple of the 4X products that you get, released by Castle Main at Perkins Brewery. Yeah, so, as you can see, Pride of Queensland right there. Yeah, definitely an old Aussie classic here. There's Mr. Forex. You can see him right there. So, yeah. A beer that I've had before, and I've enjoyed before. A nice twisty top. So, yeah. Shout out to an old workmate of mine named Daryl who used to drink nothing but this beer alone. <laughs> he wouldn't drink any other beer, it would just be 4x bitter. <laughs> but yeah, right off the bat there, that is a nice, um, almost like a darker uh, amber colour right there. Very, uh, very rich looking, very nice, yellowy, golden even. Got about a centimetre of our head there. Medium amount of carbonation, nothing too out of the ordinary. The head looks really nice and creamy, by the way. It looks wonderful. So, yeah. Looks really enticing. Looks pretty tasty. So, I'm going to shut up and give it a try. Cheers. Ah, mm. Very, very nice. Yeah, wonderful. A nice balance of malts, a nice balance of bitterness right there. Very tasty, very refreshing. Definitely one of Forex's best products that they've got here. This is kind of like their full strength lager that they do. Forex Gold's obviously their mid strength beer. But yeah, wonderful. Oh, the other one they do is like Forex Dry too, but this kind of is a bit more full flavor than Forex Dry, in my opinion. But yeah, it goes down wonderful. Great beer. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You definitely have like a sort of like a noticeable kind of bitterness there, but it's 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 pretty well balanced. It's um it's not kind of too bitter that I sort of you know it wouldn't be unappetizing. I guess it is rather nice. And um, yeah, it's just a pretty good beer overall. It's just a good standard, you know, full strength lager. Nothing wrong with it, that's for sure. So yeah, got some nice lacing around that glass there. Very creamy head, it looks great. Mm. Mm. Just a good standard beer to have, man. Can't really say much about it, but yeah. Pride and Joy Queensland. Definitely one of the oldest beers that we have here. 1924. That's that's pretty old, man. That's as old as my granddad. <laughs> so that's pretty fucking old. <laughs> but yeah, no preservatives. 99% sugar-free too. So it's probably lower on the calorie count, which is always good. So you don't, you know, get the big belly. But yeah, just a great standard beer to have. Just very enjoyable. Pretty basic, pretty cheap too. You know, it's nothing fancy, it's nothing, you know, it's not going to win any, you know, gold medals and, you know, fancy flavours or whatever, but shit, for what it is, it's basic, it's, you know, well balanced, it's a well made beer overall, there's nothing wrong with it, definitely very enjoyable. I'm going to give it a final sip and final thoughts, cheers. <coughs> Excuse me. Very nice, very nice. Definitely enjoyable. Pretty good overall. For what it is, I'd happily have to give it maybe an 8 out of 10, personally. Um, just a great beer overall. Nothing fancy, but it's very very well made. Pretty decent. Um, you'll see it everywhere. <laughs> it's very popular here in Queensland especially. You'll see it on tap. You'll see it in the bottle shops. You'll see it pretty much everywhere. So it's pretty available, pretty cheap. Nothing fancy, just a good made lager. What more do you want? 
if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do whatever the hell you want. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers.